what's good everybody it's your girl lady red and i'm back with another video happy tuesday everybody i hope everybody's having a great day if you're new here welcome if you've been here before welcome back thank you thank you thank you to all of my new subscribers i just want to say today i am having a salmon feast and this is kind of sort of like a celebration for hitting that 800 mark this has been a really really tough journey like doing this is not easy but I have some salmon I have some Brussels sprouts some um, cauliflower and also to celebrate I have some Snoop's Cali Red oh, I love this man so much look at how sexy I have my Sprite on the side and my glass of ice. So let's get into it. I have big red today. Let's get a sippy sip. always good all right you guys so again thank you so much to all i think right now i'm at 806 but like i said this is to celebrate hitting 800 subscribers i am so happy and so thankful i wouldn't be here i couldn't do this without you guys so thank you so much i love all of you guys all right so i have the salmon and remember that um pickle the um lemon dill sauce that I, I had bought um and was using in the previous video to dip the um stuffed scallops in it wasn't good as a dipping sauce but i did use it and put it on this salmon and i did taste a little bit and like i said using it as a mar marinating sauce was it's better for that it tastes good um, I also took the skin off my salmon because we don't do the skin over here. At least not that kind of skin. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to pour. You guys, make sure you go and grab something to eat, something to drink, something to snack on. Don't have me eating by myself. Get some of Snoop up in here. It's not much left. I might as well just pour the whole thing up in there. All right, guys. Cheers. Mm, that's good. I like that. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to take some of these lemons off. Oops. If you guys see any flashing, that's because my TV is on up above. I forgot to turn it off and the remote control is behind me. I hope you guys can see. That sauce is better for uh, marinating, not for dipping. It's so hot. I love me some cauliflower and Brussels sprouts. They're like little baby cabbages. Mm. The 
this is so good. So what's going on, you guys? Besides helping me reach 800 subscribers. <laughs> what are you guys up to? What are you eating on? I want to say thank you to everybody who watched my last video. Thank you so much for your support. You guys, it is not easy creating content like this. The easiest part of doing this is preparing the food, setting it up, and eating it. The hardest part is getting people to watch your video and show support. And I've been doing this for almost two years, and I'm just now getting a little over 800 subscribers. But when I originally started, my intent was to just do cooking videos. Because if you go back or if you look at um, the playlist, I have cooking videos. And I said, you know what? Let me do some cooking videos. Because at the time, I was like a little scared and nervous. I'm kind of like on the shy side a little bit. Unless I know you. Or I'm comfortable around you. It took me some time to get comfortable with being in front of this camera. And... <clears throat> How how did this... What happened was one day I was looking... Because I'm always looking for recipes and trying to do something different. So looking for recipes... Excuse me. I I saw... um Oh, man. I, I forget their names. But they go by Two Mom Culture right now. And they had a chicken recipe. And then they... um they sat down and ate after they made the food and I thought that was really interesting so I mimicked their um their recipe I didn't make a cooking video but I did make what they made and then next I was looking for some more recipes and then other things started popping up on my recommended tab And I'm like, what is this? People sitting down eating food? I've never seen this before. So I wanted to get into it, but I was too scared to be in front of the camera. So I ended up just doing um, cooking videos at first. And the first people that I saw on my recommended tab was um, Steph and Tasha. Mm -hmm. and then they were um, 
talking about other, you know, channels, and I would go check them out. Then I discovered Be Love. And I was like, you know, this looks pretty easy. Fun. I like to eat. And, like I said, I started with the cooking videos, and then I did a little bit of, um, the ASMR without showing your face and the, if you look at my older videos it's so crappy so crappy but you got to start somewhere and I remember looking at um Be Love and Steph and Tasha and they were saying um giving people um advice like if you want to start YouTube you can start off you know save your money to get better equipment start off with a table lamp your phone is good get a good editing app from your um for your phone and I did start off like that oh the footage back then I did not know what I was doing I don't know what I'm doing now but my lighting my background everything is much better than how it was when I first started but yeah you guys and then I slowly crept up to um, talking because I didn't want to talk. I wasn't going to talk. I'm really not supposed to be talking. But like I said in a previous um, video, I'm going to keep it the Real Lady Red ASMR because it may be some days that I might not want to talk or don't have nothing to say. Or it might be some times in between I say something, it gets quiet, that awkward quietness. So... But I'm almost to 1k you guys I need you guys to help me out help me get there mm -mm. I remember when I first started hey hey where the hell did the fly come from? <sighs> I remember when I first started and I had eight subscribers. <laughs> I went from eight to 800. Pretty dope. But I am super grateful and happy like I said this is not easy except for the eating part And my son said, Mama, you are not going to eat that whole fish. I'm not. But it's so good. So good. <clears throat> I know some people want to see you eat the entire tray of food but <sighs> that's not gonna happen over here my motto 
real eating, real not real eating, real portions. This is not a real portion, but what I'm going to eat will be a real portion. I'm not going to sit here and force feed myself just for views. That's how you get fat. That's how you get unhealthy. I'm doing too much. Plus, if I eat this whole thing, this video is going to be hella long. And nobody don't want to sit there watching you eat the whole salmon for 45 minutes. You come on, eat your little bit of food for about 16, 20 minutes, and break out. Give the people that, and that's it. I'm going to eat a little bit more of this. And then I'm going to break out, people. Because I'm getting full. And I'm, I have company coming by in a little while. Mm-mm. I put my foot in this salmon. It's so good. I don't know what it is about these little baby cabbages, but they are so good. Mm. And I have the food on a little heating tray, which is so convenient. I've had it for a long time. I just never pulled it out to use it. And it's so convenient, like, I should have been using it. It keeps the food warm. And then you guys get to see the steam sometimes. Now that's hot. So, like I said, I'm sipping on some uh, um, Snoop's Cali Red. And you guys heard me mention that I love him so much. And I do. Now, I'm going to tell you a little story. First of all, I'm in love with LL Cool J, okay? LL Cool J is my man, my husband, my baby daddy. I have been in love with LL since I was 12 years old. When I was um, 14, I had, remember they used to have the fan clubs? Um, teenagers or you know fans would make a fan club and stuff like that I, I created one for him and then 
like I said, 12, I fell in love with Al. I'm still in love with him. He is my, my husband, my fantasy. And then Snoop came out. And I think I was like 19, 18, 19, maybe 20 when he came out. And I was like, wow, I like him. He's nice. So I kind of been cheating on L with Snoop for a while. I'm so obsessed with these two guys. Like, I love them so much. But L doesn't know that I've been creeping on him with Snoop. So shh. I know y'all not gonna run around telling my business to my man, so I can trust y'all. But yeah. I love me some L and I love me some Snoop. And it's funny because I haven't been to any of L's concerts or anything like that when he was doing that of course I was like really young and my mom wasn't taking me to no LL Cool J concert plus I think he was do he it's like people because he's from Queens I'm in Brooklyn people I noticed that celebrities that grow up in New York City they do concerts sometimes it's not even in New York City so it's like all right, you might not have the money to travel and go to Atlanta or Florida to their concert, so you miss it. And then the ones that aren't from New York or wherever you're from, they like Snoop, he's from LA. And he, I've been to several of his things. I feel so bad. But let L do something now. I've never flown um, flown before, but I will get it on it get on an airplane for him. <laughs> Snoop, I've been to when he dropped that album, paid the cost to be the boss. I went to his um, CD signing when they had CDs, and I went in there decked out. I think I kind of played myself a little bit because I had, of course, my hair was red. And I had, my color scheme was red and pink. I had did my nails real special. And I was like, damn, I'm wearing, am I wearing the wrong colors? Ah, fuck that. I'm still going to go in there. And I went in there because he was at the VIM in Manhattan signing. Because I think he was also dropping a, um, uh, collabing with Converse or, or something like that. When it was my turn to get my CD signed by him. I didn't know what to do with myself. I almost passed out. I didn't. First of all, I went up to him. The guy took a picture. He gave me a hug. He looked at my nails. He touched this hand and was like, those are your nails? I was like, yes. And he, he rubbed them and was like, those are dope. That's nice. Then, um, he gave me a hug, another hug, and, um, oh, he asked me, um, what that, what did he ask me? He asked me what that red be like or some shit like that or something like that. All I know is that he asked me a question and when he gave, leaned in to give me a hug, I whispered <sighs> something in his ear along the lines of him being on top of that fucking table. <laughs> <laughs> he looked at me and was like hey little mama so every time I hear him say little mama I think he's talking to me in his song he called me little mama he touched my nails I was so hyped but that's my little story about Snoop and LL Snoop performed at the Apollo Theater. Me and my sis went. I've been to a few of his things. I 
I gotta go see um L. I know L is not doing anything right now, but hopefully he does something so I can see my main man in person. His sexy self. I love me some L. Oh, he also asked me, y'all, if you don't have paid the cost to be the boss, I don't know what's wrong with you. But he asked me what was my favorite track on Paid the Cost to be the Boss, and it's Lollipop. I told him, before he could even finish his sentence, I was like, Lollipop. And he was like, word? I was like, yep. <laughs> Those are my two main guys, guys. <laughs> mm. I ate all my vegetables. I put a little dent in this um salmon. But I'm full. And I gotta get ready for my guest. But I want to thank you guys. I thank you guys so much for all your love and support. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing, guys. I really appreciate you all. And my day ones, Jalil, Jalil Odom. I want to give a shout out to him. He has been down with me from day one. He comments every day, all day on my videos and I love you so much Jalil thank you so much for your support and love I appreciate you I appreciate all of you guys so with that said I'm going to drink the rest of this wine and I'm going to get up out of here I know my son going to want some of this salmon and he got his own salmon but it's not cooked. <laughs> Whew. All right, you guys. That's it. That's all. I'm about to get up out of here. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and share, guys. Sharing is caring, so do me that solid and share. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Don't forget to check out my website, you guys. Lickable by Lady Red. The link is in the description box below. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just dropped um, my eyelash line. So, ladies, go check it out. I got what you want. I got what you need. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'm Lady Red, and I'm out.